the newest Sumbria to debut in Marvel Comics. Sleeper is the seventh spawn of Venom and possesses many of the abilities of its progenitor, including webbing generation and camouflage. Concerned that bonding with a host while still in its infancy would corrupt it, the Venom Sumbriant kept its pregnancy a secret from host Eddie Brock, and after spawning, insisted that Sleeper be kept securely under watch at the research facility Alchemax. While under observation, it would be revealed that the Sleeper Sumbriant possessed its own unique abilities of chemokinesis, allowing it to generate liquids and gases to a variety of effects including psychologically influencing those in its proximity, altering their emotional state. After the events leading to Sleeper's escape from containment, the symbiote would become determined to remain close to its parent, where it assimilated into Eddie Brock's civilian life, taking the form of a house cat. Technically not a symbiote entity unto itself, Mania originated as a piece of the Venom symbiote, severed in battle. Collected by the mysterious Air Rod Corporation, this fragment was then used to create a clone of the original. After terrorizing the corporation's facility and eliminating the scientists within, the Venom clone was eventually reabsorbed by the original. When the Venom symbiote was bonded to Flash Thompson in order to create the covert operative agent Venom, the clone separated once again, bonding to high schooler Randy Benton, one of Flash's students in his civilian identity as a gym teacher at Midtown High School. As a clone of the original, the subsequently named Mania Sumbriant possesses all of the abilities of Venom, albeit to a lesser degree, while also being much harder for its hosts to control. The second spawn of Carnage, Scorn was left bonded to Dr. Tanis Nieves as a horrific parting gift following a harrowing ordeal with its parent. When the Carnage Sumbriant was separated from its longtime host, serial killer Cletus Cossady, it was chemically lobotomized and harvested in an attempt to create an advanced line of prosthetics. Attached to Dr. Nieves in place of her missing arm, the symbiote would regain consciousness and eventually abandon her, leaving Scorn bonded to Nieves in its place. As a symbiote born from an experimental union of alien biology and Earth technology, the Scorn symbiote possesses the ability to interface with computer systems as well as absorb and adapt all forms of cybernetic enhancements and weaponry. When Eddie Brock was captured by the Doomsday Obsessed Life Foundation and separated from his symbiote, the group forcibly removed five gestating spawns from the alien entity. These would then become the symbiote's Riot, Phage, Lasher, Agony, and Scream. Although Scream would escape with its host Donna Diego, the remaining four would eventually be merged into the Gestalt Entity Hybrid. A composite being with four distinct consciousnesses, things would only become more complicated when it then bonded to prison guard Scott Washington, whose own identity struggled for control amongst the amalgamation. One of the five Life Foundation symbiotes, Scream was the only one in the group to not be absorbed into the composite entity, Hybrid. Instead, it and the host Donna Diego set out upon their own. Over time. Donna's psyche combined with the inexperience and immaturity of the symbiote slowly transformed Scream into an unpredictable and erratic entity. After Donna was killed by Eddie Brock, the symbiote continued to operate as Scream for a time, in possession of Donna's animated corpse. When it was eventually separated from her skeleton, the Scream symbiote went on to bond with Andy Benton, the former host of Mania. After being separated from the Venom symbiote, Eddie Brock would eventually come into contact with the criminal gang leader Mr. Negative, who activated the remnants of the alien in Eddie's bloodstream, creating a negative symbiote which came to be known as Anti-Venom. As Anti-Venom, Brock demonstrated a series of new abilities, vastly different from those he had possessed as Venom, including healing wounds and curing diseases. Additionally, this new symbiote possessed no consciousness of its own allowing Brock to retain full control while wielding it. The anti-venom symbiote would later be destroyed when it was used to cure the jackal's epidemic mutant virus during the Spider Island event. When Flash Thompson, the former agent Venom, encountered a newly reunited Brock, bonded to the venom symbiote once more, the alien was torn between its two former hosts. Attempting to split itself between them, a recent procedure that Thompson had been subjected to involving remnants of the negative symbiont instead metamorphosed the portion exposed to him into a replica of the white symbiont, transforming him into Agent Anti-Venom. The first spawn of the Carnage symbiont, Toxin was immediately thrust into the long-standing rivalry between its parent and grandparent. 
Carnage, afraid of the existence of another symbiote potentially stronger than him, wanted to destroy Toxin, while Venom sought to mentor and train a new addition to their lineage, hoping to create another alien-empowered hero. When it bonded to its first host, NYPD officer Patrick Mulligan, his sudden and unexpected involvement in the ongoing alien feud completely upended his life, resulting in Mulligan's abandonment of his wife and infant child. As the one thousandth of their line, Toxin was expected to develop abilities greater than either Venom or Carnage, but the inexperience of both the Sumbiant and its host prevented it from ever reaching this potential. Easily the most ruthless and dangerous of all of Marvel's Earth-based symbiotes, Carnage has been plagued since its inception by the evil of its first host, notorious serial killer Cletus Cossidy. Because of this initial union, the Carnage Sumbiant has carried this destructive streak throughout each of its various hosts corrupting and infecting them with Kosei's love for chaos. Technically stronger than Venom, as each generation of symbiotes genetically improves upon the previous, this volatility is unfortunately also Carnage's greatest weakness, allowing it to be outsmarted and manipulated frequently. It has, however, displayed some abilities not common of its species, including condensing itself into a subatomic state and expanding to infect multiple hosts at a time once simultaneously absorbing and possessing the citizens of an entire town. The original and most famous symbiont of all, Venom has been a hero, a villain, and everything in between. The most emotionally and mentally well-rounded of its brethren, the Venom symbiont has evolved over time from a terrifying alien parasite into a sympathetic character who seeks only acceptance and partnership. To this end, it has willingly performed both altruistic and heinous acts in its efforts to appease the whims of its partners. As the only Earth-based symbiont not born of this world, the Venom symbiont is intelligent, mature, and more experienced than its counterparts, drawing upon its years of exposure to a multitude of hosts to regularly modify its tactics and abilities for continuously greater results. An ancient and powerful entity, Null is the god of symbiotes and the creator of their species. Inextricably linked to the cosmic void beyond dimensions, Null is able to summon and manipulate this primordial darkness, utilizing it as though it were a vast symbiotic being itself, or forging fragments of it into incredibly powerful cosmic weapons. As the originator of their entire alien lineage, Null is capable of controlling and commanding all currently existing symbiotes, as well as creating new ones at his whim from the void which empowers him. Further empowered by the cosmic energies of a slain celestial, Null represents a massive scale threat to all life in the universe as he seeks to return existence to the oblivion from which he came.